Hello, Hello Floss Tube. Tube. We're the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. And this is Piper. And Ronnie. And we're here to talk to you about our stitching this week. It's been hot here, but today it's cooling off. Oh, Calvin's here. Mm. He wants to join the Floss Tube today. <laughs> Good morning. Good afternoon by the time you see this. Hopefully not. Yeah, very we hot. Up a little bit earlier. This is a little crooked, kind of like my hair. Um, we've been, it's been very, very hot, very, very humid. Uh, I think that's it. What have we done this week? I got two new chairs for my living room yesterday. Mm -hmm. They're covered up with quilts because of Calvin, of course, and he is eyeing them like they are the prize. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's bad. Uh, what else did we do? I can't, I don't even know what day it is. What day is it? Made lots of yard sauce. Yes. Planted some fall crops that the bunnies will eat. Crops like she's on Farmville. <laughs> um, I read through all of your comments. I absolutely loved reading them. I can't even think of what we worked a lot on some upcoming release. Ooh, the cat is on the table. Here, come here. Come here, Calvin. He's not in the mood. He's he's sitting like right in over here. Hi. Come here. Ooh. Okay, so we will jump right into questions. I think that's, I didn't have any like news stuff, did you? No. Danielle wanted to know how to decide um, who stitches the model pieces. When mom like loosens up control on some of the stuff, then I get to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's when, that's how we decide. Um, <laughs> I have more time because I do not have a toddler, so I do stitch most of them. Sarah, when will Trick or Treat be available in the Etsy shop? September 1st, is that what you said? The first week of September, we're going to be putting um, the Halloween ones. So the, the post office had some issues with our shipments, I mean, well, mm -hmm. with everybody's stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, the last So shops were getting them later, so yes. we didn't feel like it was right to put it in at the time that we right. normally do. But it will be in there. Yes. Laura, do you railroad when stitching with white? No. No. Never. Some people do to make their stitches lay flatter. We just, we're not. Mm -hmm. I just feel like a lot of stage fright right now because he's just like watching us talk to ourselves. <laughs> like, <laughs> if anybody can be judgmental, it's Calvin. Calvin. Um, Robin wanted to know where do you get the where did you get the house frame for Quilter's Cottage? I love it. So that was spring shot well spring seasonal section of Walmart. Walmart yeah. Maybe so you can find one on eBay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Mandy, how many yards of fabric do you use for the backing of your quilts? Oh shoot. What is it? Is it like She's just licking the baby oil off of mom's hands? Five yards <laughs> or something? I don't know if if you Google twin size quilt, you know fabric amount for backing a twin size quilt, it it'll tell you. Okay. I think it's is it three and a half or five and a half yards? I can't remember, but just Google it, and there's lots of charts that tell you exactly how much you need. And we are not experts. We're not professionals. <laughs> Um, Kathleen, where on Trick or Treat did you use Blushing Beauty? Trying to see if I should order the Fancy Floss or DMC. Her the face? cat. Oh, the cat. The cat's ears. Ears and cheeks. And cheeks. So, I mean, if you're gonna, if you have, we have several um, charts that use that Blushing mm -hmm. Beauty for right. cheeks or um, ears and if or a cat. like in the spring we used it a lot too so you yes. might have some from another project yes but if if you're just simply doing it for this mm -hmm. one dnc yes. would be yes. perfect all right um <laughs> she's just sitting here helen what is the thin batting you use for your quilts please 80 20 right i don't know the name of it but it's 80 20 mm -hmm. um batting. there's a couple of different ones i think on fat quarter shop yeah mm -hmm. And we've used the pre-cuts uh, for when we do the yes, string, string quilts. Squares. Those are really, really yeah. nice. That makes such a difference. Sharon, I love the Judith Kirby designs you did. Did they ever re-release their designs? You can get those from a shop in Michigan. Stitches and things? No, I don't think so. Um, okay, and then... Um, Kim, you might be able to Google that too. Kim, do you cut your hydrangeas for display in the house? 
I used to a lot more than I do now when my endless summers, the ones that get pink and blue, when those would get a lot of blooms on them, I would cut them and I would keep them for um, putting in jars and stuff. I would dry them. And this year I plan on cutting some of my limelights to put in a big basket and hope that they dry well. But I have also used the dried ones in a Christmas tree and things like that. So I'm not ignoring her. I'm trying to search it for her. I, I believe it's stitches and things, but I, I think could it be is. wrong. Um, and then Crystal, when putting sticky board together, how do you stabilize and hide the crease? I'm currently finishing autumn ABCs. So when you have a longer piece that is bigger than mm -hmm. what sticky board is, how do you how do you do that? Okay, so I t take the two pieces, I join them together, you know, just butt them right up to each other. Then I take a smaller piece of sticky board and make it like a bridge over those two top pieces. But then I do that in like at several different places, so it's not just one area that's raised up okay. to attach it to your, you know, so that there's a probably like in that piece there would be three bridge pieces on top of the original sticky board. But only one is acting as a bridge. The other right. ones are the acting other ones as are just stabilizer. Right. To keep so it that, like when it's put on the piece, it's not bowed. Right. Bowed, bowed. Right. Right. Michael, do you ever hand dye your own floss? No. Mm -mm. I mean, he's just sitting here, like <laughs> watching us. Like it's so awkward. Uh, hopeful snippets. Does your finishing fabric come in a fat quarter bundle? I'm only seeing yardage on Fat Quarter Shop's website. Oh, I, I saw bundles. Okay. Alice, how often do you change out your stitching pieces and what seasons do you decorate for? So start at the beginning of the year. You do winter. Mm -hmm. I do winter. I did a little bit of Valentine's Day, like in a tree form this year. That was just this year. She usually doesn't do um, Valentine's Day. I might Day. have like one table or something that I have like the monthly pieces that have something to do with Valentine's on. But does your Valentine's Day stay up coincide with winter? Like mm -hmm. it, yes, okay, and then the winter stays up, yeah. Yeah, and then well, except for I undecorated the tree. Yeah, that was a winter tree to put the Valentine's stuff. Right. On. Then what do I do? Oh, spring. Okay. When is that? Like the end of February to early March. No, the end of April. Okay. And then May starts. Patriotic. Right. I do like red, white, and blue, and daisies, and that goes through the middle of July, and then I start with the sunflowers and the bees until, like now, I'm gonna start doing my fall. I've changed out behind us with fall. Then, um, like September 15th, maybe tw in the 20th or something, I decorate for Halloween, and that stays up until the 31st, comes down on the 31st at night, and November 1st, I start Christmas. And that stays up, and then she starts bringing out winter in January, right? Mm -hmm. Right after Christmas. Yeah, or well, it depends on when I get all you the stuff done. Yeah, right. All right, Patricia, how do you decide what you're going to design? <laughs> Mom thinks of it in the shower and then draws it, <laughs> and that's what we. She got a sketchbook so she can write sketch down some things because she has so many ideas that, and she just launches them and then you start to forget about and then we come back to mm -hmm. it oh yeah we, we need this so she yes. she's like an endless fountain of ideas <laughs> a lot she has a lot of ideas um and okay. on that note <laughs> in september our etsy shop is going to be the housewives halloween Ooh. so you definitely need to get ready for that we're excited double the fun yes double the fun <laughs> People say that Fridays are exciting because of us. Well, <laughs> we'll add in another day for you. <laughs> um, okay, and then Dottie. So, next Wednesday. Be on the lookout. Mm -hmm. Dottie wanted to know, do you have any hanging baskets that are in the shade? And if so, how often do you water them? I do not have any hanging baskets in the shade. I only have. You don't have a lot of shade. I don't have a lot of hanging baskets either. I only have four. Oh, and they're all in full sun. Yeah. So she likes flowers though, and flowers don't do well in shade. She, I mean, that is her main. Mm -hmm. I do have attraction. one pot on the porch that's coleus and it's huge red fountain grass. Yeah, I broke a big piece off yesterday I when saw we were bringing in the chairs. In the in the last week or so, it's doubled in size at least. Mm -hmm. It's huge. It's probably as big around as the dining room table. It's it's massive. 
Um, like three feet across. Brenda and, and we need to do a yard tour. Yeah. We were gonna do it yesterday, but then it was like 95 degrees and my stuff right, started so. to look wilty and ugh. we need to do that questions mm -hmm. too. Um, we how often just do, you... do the garden tour and then do yeah. other questions after that one? How often do you water them? Just check. I mean, check the put your finger in the soil and see if it's wet down underneath the top of it. If it's dry, then start watering it. My um, my hanging baskets, my all my pots get watered once a day. She's talking about in the shade, though. I don't know that in the shade you would need to water it. Once the a day. one on my porch, I water every day. Okay, the coleus. But that still gets sun. A little bit. Brenda, have you tried making homemade ketchup? It's great if you have lots of tomatoes. No, we haven't. Corinne, how do you get over the intimidation of finishing a project? We I just jump in. Jump in, start with do something small. small. One, like an ornament or something, yep. and then it doesn't matter. <laughs> He's just like eyeing <laughs> Piper. Like she's... Can you just move your ears in the frame? Thank you. <laughs> um, all right. And then, Kathy, when you do a border, do you do one thread color at a time and skip over threads? I have to take a picture of this. Y yes. <laughs> I, I at least do one and then go, try to go all the way around and hope that it meets up and we don't we're not afraid of skipping over threads we're not going to travel i mean like all the way across mm -hmm. but sometimes yeah i guess sometimes you should see one of the back of my ornaments because it was like fill in so i was just like Meh. Okay. yeah there's no rules we're doing it for a hobby we're not doing it for perfection we're doing it just to i mean we're but if you're stitching on linen don't travel your threads because it'll show Yes. If you're stitching on like Monaco like we do or Ada, a thicker it's probably fabric. not going to show. Yeah. Yeah. Liz, I love Santa. Is this going to be a series? The Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> Nancy, do you have a recipe for the zucchini lasagna? You make it just like regular lasagna. Right. But you just salt the zucchinis right. first? Slice them super, super thin. And then... Don't cut yourself. Put them on a paper towel, put salt on them. I use kosher salt, let them sit for like 10 minutes, then blot them dry, scoot the salt off, or, you know, but just dry them out. That is to get a lot of the moisture out. So it's not soupy lasagna. Right. And then and you then put a little sauce at the bottom of the pan. Just layer them. And layer with ricotta cheese and mozzarella and, mm -hmm. and bake. Mm -hmm. um, Mich basil. Michelle, mm -hmm. do you have the sweatshirts without the hoods? No. No, mm -mm. we like hoodies. Mm -hmm. Nicole, I love the finishes you've done on wreaths. Is there a way to do that for a front door? I don't think so because you would have, like the me, I would have, yes, the rain could hit it or the sun would bleach it. So yeah. I think if you're going to do it for your door, do it on the back of your door. Mm -hmm. So when your door is shut, you see it. Nancy, how do you stop from being overwhelmed by so many whips? You throw them in the back of the closet so you don't see them. <laughs> I mean, I'm not overwhelmed. I, you d no, you don't. You like yeah. having lots of that. Mm -hmm. But some people, I mean, it's some people it's it's for, and some people it's not for. So you right. need to find how this hobby can right. appease you. Don't follow the trend. Do yeah. you do and there's you? There's no rules. I mean, there are. Um, J G Flack, have you ever used scrapbook paper behind a finish instead of fabric? I think once a long time ago. I remember that. Yes. But to me since I store my things away and you know, they do get a little bit roughed up in bins or cabinets. I prefer to use fabric. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Michelle, how do I know when I need to change my needle and does it damage a project to stitch with an old needle? It can uh, fray the, the thread if it's like, if there's a burr in the, the, the eye hole, uh, if you're, needle is bent, you can see a difference in tension or how the threads lay when you're stitching. But you'll you'll see that. So you'll see the needle bend or you'll see that your thread is starting to fray a lot easier mm -hmm. when you're stitching. So at that I, point, I, I would switch it out. I don't seem to have problems with my needles like that. I just keep using them. I have a little bit more of a problem. <laughs> Deb, will there be a thread pack for Santa Claus that's coming to town? Uh, yes, at, I believe so. As I mean, thread is yes, you guys trying to get it done at Fat Quarter Shop. But the boo to you, there is a thread pack. They told us like two days There's ago that there are some. So if you're doing boo to you, there is a thread pack at Fat Quarter Shop right now. Yeah, and I mean, just in general, thread is hard to come by right mm -hmm. now. Getting the dyes for it, getting the, the the blank slates for the. Th it's just yeah. everybody's trying to work together to to make it. Hopefully, things will start leveling out again. Yeah. 
Um, Susan, does Calvin have a scratching post? Do you have a he scratching has, post? He has a post. He has the dish thing. He has a big climbing thing. Does he use any of and them? And he has all my furniture. <laughs> She's kidding. <laughs> um, Lori, will all of your designs be available as PDF? I would like trick or treat. Yes. As long as it's not an exclusive for something. We've never, I mean, we haven't done one of those yet, but if we were to do that, we would announce that. Um, but they just don't come out simultaneously as the, as the mm -hmm. printed charts. We want to give our shops time to sell them and show them right. in their, display them in their shops before we put them in our shop as a PDF, if that makes sense. We want to help support the needlework industry as many ways we can. Susan, who did you say the Fraser for wax melts are by? I thought you said something about Walmart. Yeah, they're at Walmart. Better Homes and Gardens, I think, right? Yeah, I think Walmart has a generic brand, but I found that the Better Homes and Gardens smells last longer, right? They do have a generic brand? I think. I don't Do you want me to go get it? No, that's okay. Better Homes and Gardens. It's in the wax melt aisle. Janae, do you have any recipes for eggplant? We usually do um, just eggplant right, parmesan, we bread breaded it. it. Mm -hmm. But you could also do that lasagna like that too. If you sliced it really thin and then it, you know did the salt stuff and then layered it, that would be so good. I made a Greek version of eggplant. Um, you use like flour, salt, soda water. I didn't have any soda water, so I used squirt. Um, <laughs> and... Um, dipped it in it and it smelled like a carnival in my house but it smelled so good and then you put like a, a tomato base like a crushed tomato base on top of it and it was very good i didn't i just used a recipe i got off of google mom didn't have one for that we usually just do like eggplant parmesan or we just fry them and then just eat them dipped in white sauce it's very good mm -hmm. that's what we're gonna be doing today mm -hmm. all right that's all the questions i have today for you Thank you for asking them. Yeah. And also, thank you so much for your nice comments on our releases last week. We, we appreciate it, and we were just so excited to show you. So We were super excited. Boo to you. Um, Mom had said, you know, I'm missing Disney and having that kind of little reminder. It was nice. Yep. So that's a soundtrack that they play, I think. At their Halloween party. Right. So. They are going to start putting up their decorations September 15th, I think mm -hmm. I saw. Mm-hmm. We're gonna be watching from afar. Anyway, last week we did. Anyway, Hello <laughs> Pumpkin. Do you want me to show it? Okay, cap. And this week is Hello Fall and the cutest little fox. So I'm gonna tell you a story. <laughs> this fox started out as a crow <laughs> and morphed into a, a scarecrow <laughs> and then was a fox. <laughs> and I just didn't. I stitched so much this week on this one little piece that <laughs> she was in a bad mood. <laughs> yeah. And then I had the whole fox's head done and I was like, I don't like it. So I changed it again, ripped it all out. And I think he is so cute. He, she, whatever. Can't really tell. But <laughs> thank you all for your nice comments on that yesterday. Can you grab that again? Yeah. So to finish this, I found this little piece at a... Uh, Walmart. Walmart, yes. And it's just a, a wood piece and it's got like a ticking stripe down the side and it says words on it. I think it says thankful and blessed, right? But anyway, I mounted the stitching on sticky board. I did some orangish colored plaid on sticky board that was just a scrap, so I don't know where it came from. And then I used our Priscilla's Pretty Plaids and the black and white chuck. I did a bow on the top, an acorn bell that I don't remember where I got, and then some picks with pine cones and fall berries. So I think it turned out really cute. And that's it. the last of the fall cups. Yes. So there's been four. Four fall The other cups. two are still on a road trip. So. Yes. <laughs> we were looking for, we thought that we lost them. Yes. <laughs> we have no idea. <laughs> that's where our brains are. Yep. Uh, so that is available in our Etsy shop online. Yep. So for previous finishes, I thought I'd bring out my cinnamon stars. <laughs> this is probably my simplest framed piece. I found that frame at Hobby Lobby and just stuck it in there and it's been in there ever since. And I stitched that on coffee tea dyed fabric that I think I bought that way. Yeah, you didn't dye this. Mm -hmm. There's no modeling on it. Mm -hmm. And she used some DMC and some fancy floss. Like you can see this is fancy floss right here. Mm -hmm. So it's what I favorite. did was I went to the store and I, 
I looked for all the pieces in this that were the most variegated and those were the pieces that I bought the fancy floss for and then the rest I did DMC so and then this is from heart and hand it was the autumn whirly gig and it's mounted on a trivet and then we have finishing instructions for a round piece either on our YouTube or at Backquarter Shops YouTube. When we went there to visit them, mm -hmm. that was, uh, mm -hmm. she finished mine on there. And then for finishes, I just have the, not that one. That was last week. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> the Hello Fall. What? Can you say hi? Yep, I'll do the ducky. Can you say hi? <laughs> okay, here. Come say hi. Look who's up here. Here's Calvin. Hi, Greedy. Stand up. Oh, wow. Is that beautiful? Hi. Okay, can you say hi to everybody? Hey, right up there. Can you say hi? Look. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Calvin. Say hi, Calvin. Okay, we're back. No diaper change yet. Your whips. Whips this week. Remember last week when Chelsea came and she said that I was yelling at a squirrel out there and I said he was trying to bury his black Having walnuts. Having a conversation with the squirrel. In my pots. Well, I went out there and one of my watering cans, that I, they're vintage watering cans that I have super tunias planted in. My super tunia was starting to look really weird and I thought, what the heck's wrong with it? There was two big black walnuts sitting in the top of it and he had dug all the dirt out of the inside. So, she was very angry. Mm -hmm. And then I found say. another one in my buckets with super tunias in it. There was a nut in there, too. So he's just planting his nuts all over my house. Yard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so whips is... I'm not going to address it. Um, <laughs> whips this week. Um, are you doing a sneak peek of this? Mommy? Sure. Mommy? One of my whips for the Housewives Halloween. Mommy. Housewives Mommy. Halloween. Um, another one of my <laughs> whips Mommy. for next month's uh, Christmas Mommy. ornaments. Mommy. Hey, we're doing floss too. It's hard to compete with you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and then I worked on this is Hickety Pickety by With Thy Needle and Thread. Okay, we're back. All right, so Hickety Pickety. I whipped that needle on thread. I got the green done. And then I started the pumpkin down here. So this was a green that I ordered. It is Weeks Dye Works. Guacamole. Guacamole. Mm -hmm. I really like it. I, I was excited to work on this one. And then, um, oops, sorry, Kevin. Sorry, come on. And then, while so I built that Ikea shelving system and I organized my stuff and while I was organizing it I found the gentle arts that I had ordered probably I mean no I kidded it up with this so I found it come here I found it anyways and so I am not out of thread anymore see I just had to be patient and so I worked on this a little bit more I finished knocking and then I started how far are you on that? <laughs> Not far at all. Like a third? Yeah, probably. This one is a really fun chart. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, so I, but I haven't gone all the way across, so. Oh, there's still more words? It, yeah. <laughs> yeah, lots more words. This is the, this is Halloween Sampler by Cottage Garden. This is a really great chart. Easy to read. All right, what are your whips? Okay, so. I worked on my Christmas list. I've been saying that for six months now, 12 months. All right, what I did was I did the star. I did part of that star with the little things around it. And then I added some white in between those over there and I started on the wings of the angel. So I worked on it for about a half an hour. Awesome. Mm -hmm. It's 
going to be in my house for Christmas. I started to go with, oh, there's Ted. So, um, Mr. Claus, Mary, Mrs. And then the first gingham greetings and I'm working on the second gingham greetings. And I just got like the top and then part of the truck. It's this way. So I'll have or all four ornaments done then. And I think I finished, did I finish that gingham greetings last week or, or did I already show that? Yeah. Then I don't know that I was here last week for the video. I worked on Calvin and Clyde. And your the, white is showing up so well. Last week I did this part of the the garland and then last night I got all the way across. Look how well her white shows up. So I don't usually do it where I stitch all the white first, but I think I might stitch all the white first. And then fill it in. Really? Mm -hmm. I was showing Calvin. He's, I mean, he's like literally right here. It's very awkward. I don't know. Why is he doing this? I don't know. Maybe he misses your brother. Her brother's house sitting right now. So this is just a sneak peek. You're not going to see much. But you'll see that at the end of this month. Yes. No, no next, next month. month. And the next month. Right. We don't know what day it is. <laughs> so, I worked on a lot. Plus, I did the the um, the fox like 14 times. So Fox, scarecrow, <laughs> crow, chicken, bird. It wasn't a scarecrow. It was a crow like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Clovis. Clovis. We, we did a regular did a crow. crow. Scarecrow. First, we did a chicken crow. Then, we did a regular crow. Then, we did <laughs> a Clovis crow. And then, she made it a fox. Then, she made it a cute fox. Then, it was a different fox. So, right. this is what so she So, I, I tried to do a combination of a cute but realistic looking fox. I didn't want it to be totally realistic because it was a little scary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else? Not really. <laughs> That's it. Those are whips. All right. And then um, these are gifts. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have some gifts. Wow. Holy moly. So this. Oh, here's Ellen. Your card. Yes, this is from Ellen. And this artist is a friend of hers, she says. So she wanted to probably show her work. CherylParis.Pixels.com And she sent us some um, books and extra charts that she had. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, you very much, Ellen. Put that one up. And then this is from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. So they are doing a stitch along. You can open that and I'll do this one. These were medical trays. And she sent an extra. So this is... Um, but they look just like medical <laughs> trays. Right. I believe it's Anita. I think so. Um, but she sent an extra chart because she had bought two of them. And then she sent these. They're medical trays. Old medical trays. And she said, I hope you can use them for finishing. I think they're awesome. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Thank you so much. I read, I thought that they were like enamel, just mm -hmm. like dishware when I first pulled them out and then I read it and I was like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. And then we had a beautiful card. This is from Cindy. She won a giveaway. This. That one is still here. All right, and then this is um, from Maria. She sent extra. She has a beautiful card. And she said to keep or use as giveaways as we um, like. Look at this peaceful purple. It is, uh, I don't know what it is, 32 count. 
You can't really see the color. It's very pretty. That must um, be linen. It's kind of a grayish lavender. Sampler Heart by Little House Needleworks. And then Share Your Heart and Star Spangled Scissor Finder. And there's another. Amazing. Thank you so much for your generosity. There you go. All right, and now we have two uh, stitch alongs that we're gonna show you. We've been contacted by Traditional Stitches. They are offering this as a giveaway, but it's going to be a little bit later, uh, but we can show it now. So Traditional Stitches is in Calgary. Is that a, Alberta, you... Canada. Yes. They're one of our shops that carry our designs and they have a, an exclusive done for them. This is the Ann Morrison. It's a 20th anniversary because they've been in business for 20 years now. Hands Across the Sea Samplers designed this specifically for them. And this the, will be a giveaway, but not right away. Right, so um, our sale start date is now December 5th and they'll start shipping uh, charts and kits in mid-October. So you can go to their website, it's www.traditionalstitches.com. I'll link that below and you can uh, get more information on joining their sale if this is something that interests you. This is a beautiful sampler. And then uh, Caterpillar Cross Stitch. They'll be shipping internationally if you'd like. This is the Hello Dear um, tw Christmas 2020 Mystery Cross Stitch Stitch Along. And in it, you get the floss to do with the fabric, needle, everything you need. And it comes in 14 or 28 count. And this one that we're giving away today is 28 count. Yes. And the... Um, so they're offering a discount for our subscribers. Yes, 10% off discount for our subscribers. You're going to use the code R-H-O-X-S-10. And I'll link that below as well. So you, if, if you didn't write it down, that's fine. Okay, so awesome it's there. CaterpillarCrossStitch.com? Yes. Yes, I'll link it all below. All right. And then we, we had, had giveaways, giveaways last, last week. week. Did we? We did. The and first we one. We that at the same time. The first one was from our friend Whitley at Southern Stitchers Co. She offered a floss pack for Trick or Treat. I meant to bring it over here, I did not. So all the floss no, that you need it. to know to finish Trick or Treat, which is the witch. First, I saw somebody ask this question earlier today and I forgot to put in my questions before we started. Um, you had said that you did not fill in the black on the witch's skirt. Did you fill in the black on the jack-o'-lantern no. mouth? No. Because we stitch on plain black, um, it's kind of a toss up whether we Same stitch floss. the black or not. And like when looking at it, you can't tell that it wasn't stitched, right? All right, so the giveaway winner for this, so you're gonna email us and then I will forward your information on to Whitley and Whitley will send it out to you. The winner for this is Dottie Crisp. Congratulations. All right, and then you can take that and put that down. There were three PDFs for Hello Pumpkin. So you email me and I will email you the PDF back. These go to Beth Stevens, Bethy Hendrickson, and Barb Yerk. Congratulations. Next up from LaDonna at Sampling of Memories. She gave us some fobs to gift to you all. Sampling of Memories at Etsy.com. The first on one was Etsy. two opportunities to win the August fob and that goes to Carlo Ricker and Lisa Volgamore. Congratulations. Next up we had September, and that goes to Patty Gagliardi and Barbara Quigley. Congratulations. Next up was Noah's Ark, and these are from, um, all of these except for one are from Fat Quarter Shop. Thank you so much. This is Noah's Ark by Plum Street Samplers that goes to BOS Stitchers. Remember, this is your YouTube name. Next one is this, I think, from Rivaris. Yes, holiday ticket. And that goes to Crafty Cat with a K. Next up is Rue Crew, Plum Street Samplers. This is super cute. I'm still waiting for Skunk Bunk. Uh, Joyous Dash Joy. <laughs> Next is Homegrown. This was part of their uh, stitch along. If I quarter shop. Yes. You can now purchase the chart separately if you're not part of the mm -hmm. Stitch Quarterly. That goes to D. Hansen. All right, next up is Trick or Treat, and you can see Kimberly's finish last year. On my blog. Yeah, do you remember around when? No, but I did a whole thing of her finishes and your finishes like in January. Okay, so, so you can see it there. That goes to Jill Martino. Congratulations. 
Hello Autumn by Trellis and Time. And that goes to Ellen Shasko. Heaven and Nature. I want to see you stitching on this. This goes to Pamela Abate, I think, or Abate, Abate, I'm going to assume. And then for those of you that did your homework, number 12 was <laughs> Mistletoe Lane Thread Pack. This was part of their mystery uh, Jolly July stitch along. Mm -hmm. That goes to Katie Hughes. Congratulations. Email me. My email address is listed below. If you don't hear from me within 24 hours, email me again. Tell me what you want. Give me your address. Send okay, photo. So for today's giveaways, oh. we need you to like the video, be a subscriber, and then comment. Where's that piece of paper with all the? I don't know. You had it. Do they even know what they're winning it? You took it, so I don't know where it is now. Great. Great. <laughs> she lost it. So now you're gonna have to think of a question because you took my question page. Hmm. I should not have ripped that out. Who let me do that? All right. Okay, so for giveaways. My notebook, and I think my notebook's on the counter. For giveaways this week, number one is going to be three opportunities to win the PDF Hello Fall, mm -hmm. Foxy Fall. Number two, from our generous viewer, you're going to win a piece. So this is uh, 31 and a half. That's a pretty big piece. With units, it says. Uh, a 32 count peaceful purple is number two. This is a very large chunk of fabric. Number three from Fat Quarter Shop. This is Autumn Whirly Gig by Heart and Hand, and you saw that yeah. finished earlier today. Number four is part of the Fabric of the Month Club. It is Lamb's Wool Linen. This is an 18 by 27 inch piece of linen. Number five is three opportunities to win uh, Lori Holtz Stitch Cards Set B. Three opportunities to win those. Number six is um, homegrown. Number seven is a piece of uh, 10 count Lori Holtz black fabric. This is blackboard. It's blackboard. It's it's pretty it's pretty black. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for mm -hmm. a bigger count to do uh, one of our designs on, you could try that 10 count. And and we have our boo to you pattern. <laughs> So there's three of those. Three opportunities to win boo to you. Mm -hmm. I'm super excited about this one. Mm -hmm. Super. All right, that's the giveaways that we have this week. What no, else? No, that oh, oh, and last, but, well, what number are we on? <laughs> one. Make a figure out. Two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven. Did you count the PDF? These were eight. Did you count Number one? nine is Caterpillar Cross Stitch Stitch the Long. Kit. And it's on 28 count. It's number nine. Woohoo! Okay, you want to stop that for a second? I'm going to run and get the paper. Yeah. Okay, she found the paper. Okay, after careful deliberation, the question <laughs> is, what made you start cross stitching? What made you start? Oh, somebody that I knew was doing it, and that was like back in the days of precious moments, and oh, <laughs> 112 years ago. So th they showed me how to do it. I knew how to embro. I, I I did needlepoint. I did like embroidery. I did. What's the other one that you did? Cruel, cruel, cruel. Yeah, that's cruel embroidery. Oh, cruel. But anyway, I knew how to do all that, and cross stitch, you know, was a new thing to me. I had done like stamped cross stitch, but I think I was maybe 20, I'm not gonna say. So just a few years ago, <laughs> just a few years ago. I started because mom made me, so then we, we wanna know why you did. She didn't yeah. make me, I'm just kidding. She just said, here, you should really try this. I'm really encouraging you, right? Yes. <laughs> really on edge. Mm -hmm. Work was stressful. Life mm -hmm. was stressful. I just, oh, there's a hummingbird. Uh, okay. So we appreciate you spending your time with us. Our new releases start shipping out uh, September 8th. So we usually do it the first Monday of each month, but this Monday Labor is Labor Day. So we gave ourselves a little extra week mm -hmm. in there. Uh, also, I have school starting. So we do part homeschool and part going to school. Um, so all of those moms and dads who are full-time schooling right now, we are 
Yes. We're praying for you. Okay. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> We're praying for you right now. We know how stressful that is. Um, okay. It just got cloudy, so maybe we'll get a yard tour done today and we can post Out in the it pouring rain. So. Yeah. <laughs> we appreciate you spending your time with we us. We aren't even done. So oh. th thank you so much for all your, your kind comments and also your hashtagging us and tagging us all the time. We love to see your projects. Yes. Thank you for all the positive comments and positive posts in our Stitching with the Housewives group. Come join us on Facebook. Also, if you get your finishing information, information from us, tag <laughs> us, tag my blog. Right. We love to see it. Right. <laughs> and follow us on Instagram at Priscilla Blaine at Chelsea356, Priscilla's2000 on Facebook, and Priscilla's2000.blogspot.com. And last week, I did post all three of our new finishes with the floss colors that you need. So if you know, you're shopping for all that right now, you can find those. Absolutely. What else? I think that's it. Okay. Um, again, Wednesday starts Housewives Halloween. So be on the lookout for that. We've finish this. And oh my goodness. Beautiful. So awesome. And some people are doing some back stitching on it, changing some things. We love it. Lee Hofstetter uh, posted her November. No. September. September, uh, trucking along. I was going to say, very cute. <laughs> we just released November. Um, super cute. So we love seeing all of your inspirations. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. Yes, and make sure you are there on Wednesday. Wednesday morning, bright and early. <laughs> 6 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> She's haggling me like 5.30. Are you ready yet? Are you ready yet? My blog's ready. I don't <laughs> even say anything to you until it's 6 30 and i haven't heard from you <laughs> hello hello she'll call then she'll start texting <laughs> sit up no she's lying <laughs> all right we appreciate you spending your time say, with are us you again. awake <laughs> <laughs> with question mark and then call <laughs> Um, so Housewives Halloween starts and, and wednesday all of your yard sauce and your zucchini casserole awesome yep yeah, we're so glad that you love it yes Easy way to to preserve mm -hmm. tomatoes and have. I can't wait for those people that haven't made yard sauce yet. I can't wait until it's the dead of winter. You are craving something from summer and you pop open a bag mm -hmm. of that and you eat. It's gonna be. It's just gonna blow your mind. It's gonna blow your mind. And I'm gonna. I have a bunch of zucchini on my counter right now. I'm gonna take it, chop it all up, cook it as zucchini casserole, but don't put the cheese in. And I'm gonna put it in Ziploc bags and put it in my freezer so we can have zucchini casserole in the winter. Yep, sounds good. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, I think that's, you know, all we have for you today. Yeah. Cash didn't uh, give me a dirty diaper, so we're off kilter a little bit. We will see you next week. Bye. Bye.